Hello car lovers driving the Subaru WRX GT 2024. This is definitely a youth favorite. First an overview. The Subaru WRX is a compact sports sedan. There is new for 2024, the RS and GT trim. We get the GT trim. EyeSight driver assist tech, which are the driving aids are now standard on all trims, including a manual transmission. The engine is a 2.4 liter four cylinder turbo that produces 271 horsepower and 258 pounds of torque and all wheel drive is standard. Fuel economy is a bit steep. 12.7 liters in the city, 9.4 liters on the highway. You get the choice of either manual or automatic. Our GT gets adaptive dampers, drive mode select, which allows the driver to customize suspension, steering, all wheel drive, and powertrain characteristics. You get 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels, the climate control gets a humidity sensor. This GT with shipping costs $47,000 plus tax. However, if you want the performance and basic luxury or anemones, if you want, the base model WRX with shipping is $36,230, which is an incredible deal for a 12 month a year performance car. So we're back. Uh, what to say about this vehicle? Well, I have a, a, a few remarks. Those of you who've known me uh, for a long time, uh, before test driving cars 10 years ago, I really didn't like Subarus. And by test driving them with Ross, he likes Subaru. And I've test drove many over the years and I've learned to appreciate their intrinsic qualities and I certainly understand why people buy them now. This is such a friendly car to drive. They're, they're, they're just so easy. Uh, I'm just gonna, but before that I'll go over some of the basic things. The exterior styling, well the exterior styling looks like it was drawn by Homer Simpson. Uh, it, it's just, uh, for me it doesn't do it. And But a lot of people like the exterior styling of Subaru so it's in the eye of the beholder. All right. Um, especially their rear three quarters there, it's, it's, it's a disaster, it's Newfie Town. So other things about this vehicle, well this odd shape lead, lends itself well on the inside. The trunk space for a sports car is very good, maybe not compared to other compacts but for a sports car very good. Rear seat room is unbelievable, I can sit behind myself no problem. Here in front with Ross we're not even rubbing elbows, it's a compact car. Uh, very well, mansplaining position, very good. So this is, this is the high level experience. You have these familiar, easy Subaru driver interfaces. You have this wonderful visibility. This is a huge window. It's like almost bigger than my Tesla. Here on the side, it's a monster. Rear three quarters, pretty good. Rear window, excellent. I mean, this vehicle to park, driving during the winter when you have uh, accumulations of snow in the corner, you're just gonna have, you're still gonna have so much window to do your regular grind. And this is what I mean by Subaru being this this such a friendly vehicle to drive every day. And of course the performance is there. You get the four cylinder turbo, you have a CVT, which doesn't really have, at least I, I beat it pretty good on the highway before. I don't really feel the rubber band effect. Like, you know, when you have like, when you're in a skidoo, that type of thing. Uh, fuel economy is average for this type of power vehicle. This vehicle costs about $45,000. The base model in Canada goes for 35, which is kind of unbelievable. They had to cut somewheres, right? The sound insulation is slightly below average on the highway. I would say these doors are extremely thin. This general interior quality is slightly low level, a fake far, fake carbon fiber, uh, cheap at steering wheel. Uh, here, there, this, this, this dash comes from uh, 2018. This infotainment, although very big, it does have the, uh, the climate control integrated into the infotainment. Very hard for the muscle. You can't do muscle memory changes here. So you're taking your eyes off the road. If the infotainment goes down, your climate control goes down and that's what I have to say about that uh, here we have on the horizontal surface we have some piano black material piano black not so too shabby on the vertical but on the horizontal it gets scratched up it reflects light poorly when it's scratched up and it gets dirty really fast um, and you can literally count the grains of the specks of, of dust on your on it so if you're a little OCD it's gonna it's gonna mess with your mind here we have a little bit of soft dust material here hard material here and it's, it's a mixed bag, right? Nice big rear view mirror too, that, that's really nice. And uh, you, of course you get the Subaru driving aids right here, which are very good. So this is, this is a very complete package. And what's great about this vehicle, I've been driving now on the Montreal Trail for the better part of an hour and even more. And what happens is, is this car does not beat you up, yet it has very high performance. The range is unbelievable between comfort, friendly, convenient, and sporty, fun to drive, reactive, precise. The powerful, really, the, the range is unbelievable. You do get a 
amenities, all right, you do get the Harman Kardon sound system, heated seats, heated rear seats. Um, you, you, you get uh, what you would expect from a car at this price, all right? So this is very good. Reliability, Subaru, pretty good, I'd say. Uh, they seem to have worked out the kinks with the boxer engine in terms of the, the heads leaking. This has been resolved a long time ago. It's got a really nice sound, really one of the nicest purrs, like it purrs this, this engine, uh, a four cylinder turbo, really high level in terms of the sound. Nothing to envy from the Germans on that level. Uh, I'm, I'm speaking and thinking about the, the, the GTI and the, uh, the GTI product. So very good, nice bass too of, uh, of the engine sound. This is a very satisfying vehicle to drive. Uh, the, the seats do have a lot of bolstering, yet they are oddly comfortable. I think an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, you're, you're good. Uh, why the bolstering? This car does come manual. So when you're taking curves, so those of you who have never driven manual or thinking about driving manual, when you take curves, sometimes you have to shift in the curve as you're entering the curve or as you're coming out, and you've got to get on that clutch. So you're taking your foot off the dead pedal. People who drive automatics, often they don't like the bolstered seats because, well, when you're taking the curves, you simply take your left foot and press on the dead pedal and you kind of like with the friction of the seat, you stay in your seat in the curve, right? Whereas when you're shifting, the bolsters are what keep you in place because your foot is off the dead pedal. So that's a little, that's a why. Those are basically my thoughts on the very good Subaru WRX. Um, I, th I think it's recommendable in lease. I think it's recommendable in the purchase. I think it is, if, if the exterior styling doesn't bother you, then it's extremely highly recommendable on the lease and the purchase. Um, it, it's an honest value. It, it doesn't cost too much. How, 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 when can we say that? Today? I drive, I, we test drive so many cars that there's nothing under $50,000. $50, so it just, just doesn't make sense. And so you're getting value. And, and that is the review. By the way, if you like this video, like it. If you don't like it, don't like it. And if you really like it, well then of course, of course, you should subscribe. And that is it.